Sanibel's a, a magnificent uh, sort of paradise of uniqueness where people enjoy the natural resources and therefore have a responsibility to understand them and protect them. Well, the Sea School fits in perfectly because the Sea School informs people, uh, educates people about waters, the sea's the water side of the island. Uh, it also um, provides from that information appreciation. Uh, that appreciation is uh, respect for the ocean when it's angry and appreciation for the beauty of the ocean, uh, the emotions that go with all of that. Uh, so you go from education to appreciation to responsibility to hand it on to the next generation and good stewardship, basically. I think that Sanibel Sea School has played a very big role in getting the message out around the community uh, and getting it out to the next generations of people uh, that are out there. And it is exactly the kind of uh, fit that some of us uh, doing the visionary planning back in the 60s and 70s hoped would happen, that Sanibel would always produce something, but it wouldn't be a hard finished metal a widget or something like that. It would be the concept of the appreciation uh, of coming here and uh, applying uh, what you learn and what is offered here in a natural way to the surroundings and keeping the community that way. And I think that's true with the arts. I think it's true with the environment. I think it's true with the educational system we've got here. And it certainly shows up in the family vacationers. It's often been said that the uh, that space is the last great frontier. I disagree with that. I think the ocean is the last great frontier. And I think it's a more important frontier. It may not be the last, but it's a great urgent frontier because you learn more uh, about the ocean uh, that is of value to our quality of life by studying the ocean than you do about studying space. Now, in time, I, I will agree, that's gonna change and we're gonna grow things upside down <laughs> in space and so forth. But right here on our front door in the ocean, there's still room to learn a lot. At least I think so, maybe you don't, but I do.